After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I started off with the department as a civilian employee. I went to the academy, and I've been a commissioned officer ever since 2002, and I love it. It's a wonderful career. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's got a lid on it. I asked you if you had something sharp, and you it's lied to me. What do you call this? It's called a needle. Take it to a stripper out. You were going to. Hey, don't squeeze my hand like that, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Stop resisting. I apologize. I'm not digging it with the hypes on her. Stand up, man. Another one? Mm -hmm. Great. You won't hold your hands still, so I'm not holding still for you. Still. Are you trying to do something? Well, you've already, kicked, you've already kicked me once. We don't want to get kicked again, right? Wait, 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 wait. You know what? You want to? You want to just put her in the chair? What we'll stripper her afterward? She comes in. She's going through the pat down search. The officer joined her. Asked her if she had anything sharp on her, on her person. She said no. And during the pat search, officer uh, joined her. Felt something in her, in her bra, and turned out it was two hypodermic needles. So. Hey, hey guys. You guys are really doing this over nothing. Three needles is nothing, and kicking an off. Do you realize you committed a felony? You were on my pinky toe, to my little toe. Did it hurt? Was it kicking you to hurt you? I ain't trying to do this. I saw her kick you. I she just tried kick to kick again. I did. Okay, but I saw her kick you. Okay. Go ahead and rebook her. All right. So if is she's in, so for whatever she she's in here for, on. she's in here for a, a felony now. How did you make contact with her? Uh, suspicious vehicle stop over on Fort Apache. She was hanging out with one of her friends, and uh, he had some pills in the car. And then uh, she had a warrant, so we're taking her for a warrant. I told her, if you have anything else, let me, you know, let me know. And uh, she let me know. Got, got down here, and you found him. Obviously, you found him in a brawl. So that's a place you would not have found. Yeah, him. I wasn't gonna go digging in there. No. <laughs> She's gonna sit in the chair for a period of up to two hours. Hopefully, she'll calm down, and we'll be able to complete our search. And hopefully, there's no more needles on her. Face that way. Anything sharp on you? I have a cell phone and an electric thing there. A an electric thing? A stun gun? Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. A stun gun yeah, right here. That's all. Okay. That's yeah. neat. Thanks for telling me. And they had her phone up where she probably got. Wow. Oh, yeah. Why do you carry a stun gun around? Bad neighborhood. It too bad neighborhood? Did you did you not give it to the when the officer They're asked you? I don't know if that's one. I don't know if that's one we can um, keep it because that doesn't come apart. The battery yeah. doesn't dis. She has a she has a taser in her bra. It's a taser. <laughs> it's in her bra. That's the second one we see tonight. Oh, it does work. Did he ask you if you had any weapons? No, he specifically didn't know I would hold them. He didn't ask you if you had mm -hmm. any weapons on you? Nope, he was asking for drugs. He was asking if there was a hooker. Uh-huh. Oh, he asked for needles, too. But, and so you answered no, because you didn't have needles. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't think to tell him about the taser? He was That's kind of a big thing. What was her original charge? Walking on a roadway. That's why she was stopped originally. That's why she was stopped originally. And then there was this this ID when you run it in DMV says that uh, it's not a valid form of identification for whatever reason. So because we couldn't identify her, we brought her down here to fingerprint her. Make sure she didn't have any warrants. Right, because, okay. you know, people lie. Yes, they do. Sometimes. Yes, not all do. the time. Sometimes, at least once a night. And so we're going to be releasing her. Are you going to be giving her a citation for this charge? No, or? I'm just going to end up just driving her back. I think we've used up enough of her time. OK. Right? Right. No yeah. warrants. Nothing. And Never been arrested before in her life. And this is her first time in no jail. one got tased. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next time, even if they don't ask you, and you have a weapon on you, it's a good idea to tell them, OK? It's, just, it's about safety. It's not about you I getting know, in trouble. It's I about know. safety so nobody gets hurt. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand, understand? perfectly. We took okay. care of it, then mm -hmm. when you're going home. Okay, you're going to go with him. Walk over there. Bye. He's a little upset with her because she didn't inform him. He's going to give it back to her. 
after he lets her out of the car. She's not going to be holding it while she's in the no, car. No, that wouldn't even be a good idea. Yeah. I want to talk to you about this incident. I mean, you had two empty hypes that were in your bra that had blood in them. Yeah. So they, they were, were used. Yeah, they were. And then right. one that was loaded, ready to go. And it's been in there for a while. Yeah, no. I got it earlier today. I was asking you for safety purposes, I so know. that nobody got stuck. I started panicking like with everybody in there. I did four years before already. Four years where? Prison? Mm -hmm. How old are you now? 24. 24, and you've done four years in prison? What would, what did you serve time for? Possession. Possession of drugs. Okay. I wish you luck. I hope you can turn this around. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. She's already done four yeah, years in prison, I, and she's uh, as young as she is, and she has a nine-year-old daughter. She has a child that obviously somebody else is taking care of. Right. She has family, but she chooses not to be with them. Mm -hmm. She chooses to come out here and hook up with perfect mm -hmm. strangers right. and get involved in the drugs again after she did four years for drugs in prison. It's a shame. Very unfortunate She's because a there's a nine-year-old kid out there wanting his mom. Wanting his mom. You're right. I come to night shift usually starts with a great workout at the gym. Boxing is one of my favorite sports. It relieves tension, stress. Uh, this job can be very stressful. People sometimes take it home. So I generally don't take my stressors home. I don't take this job home at all. I take it to the gym, let it all out, and start over again. This way. Look straight ahead. What did you get arrested for? <laughs> Battery? I don't even uh -oh. know. I didn't even do it. You didn't do it? No. I'm Who not did even it? a mean person. I'm so nice. I'm, I'm as gay as they come. I'm so nice. I believe you. Oh. You've been nice to me. Yeah, I just want to go to my mama. Domestic violence? No. DUI. Yeah. Under the construction zone, roll in the ditch. Oh, okay. Sit up, Tony. You're going to get seen by the medical, okay? EMT. I want you to come over here. You're gonna be all right. Come on. No, it's not all right. I'm in jail. Well, that's not it okay. Come on. So I am. Yeah, I want you to go all the way to the end so you can be seen by medical. Okay? Yes. All the way down. So you brought in Tawny. Yeah. I went to an accident. It's a single vehicle. Um, when I got there, it was she drove probably about a quarter mile through a construction site. Yeah. On a on a her tire was basically blowing out and then just completely obliterated. Oh she kept going. We got her in custody. And so it was a DUI with accident yeah. with a single vehicle. She's involved. a complete mess. Yeah, yeah she is. And she's 20 day. or 21? So she's underage she's drinking yeah, as well? Yeah, she's underage drinking. You know, she said she had vodka. She doesn't even remember how much she had, but um, it's obviously way too much. Wow. Luckily, okay. she didn't hurt herself or anybody else. All right, thank you. No, 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 no. Tawny, what's the matter? I'm a little girl, and I do not belong here. I'm a little girl. I'm not little, I'm a little but I'm a girl. girl. You're a little girl? How old are you? <laughs> I just want to go home. Well, you're going to be fine. No more crying, OK? Yes, ma'am. I'll suck it up. I'm sorry. OK. Yeah, that's exactly what you should suck it up. You'll be all right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm 22. I don't live like that. No, you look like you should be in juvie. I know. What did you get arrested for? DUI. D oh. Have you been arrested before for DUI? No. no? Never. Never. You know you get you know you get arrested and convicted three times. It's a felony. It's kind of early to already be a. It was open bar. Drinking and driving. All right. Let's go in here. Way, sir. Is he a blood draw? Oh, okay. You're not going to throw up, are you? If you throw good, up. I'm not good needles. No, no. There's no throwing up. She's really good. I actually trust her. Why is it all men are I'm sorry. Look that way. Look that way. Look that so, way. Breathe sorry. on me again. We're not allowed to be drunk at work, you know. I can get tattoos, but I can't do this. Yeah. Just relax. Relax. You just had a whole bunch of drinks. You should be relaxed. It's hard. 
my dad died of an overdose, so. So what does that have to do with me? Needles. Needles. Oh, he was, he shot up? Yes. Okay. Well, it's one thing for me to. Then you'll be glad that I'm good at this. So now you're breathing. Lady, I'm trying to do anything right now. All right, you're going to be fine. Big poke. That's it. Okay. Simple enough. There's no more poking. You need to relax your fist. I'm sorry. Okay, you're all done. You don't do what you did anymore. Can stand up. I'm all done with you, so you can have a seat in the front row, okay? Pull your pants up, though. I actually lost weight. Thank you, though. All right, go on up. <laughs> There's an open seat in the first row. Have a seat in the first row. I think it's sinking in now. DUI is not a joke. Hope I don't see him here again. All right, Tawny, come on in. It's been about an hour and a half. It's like that. It looks where the alcohol's wearing off. So we'll get her booking photo taken. So, Tony, what happened last time you were in here? I got in, into a fight with my ex-girlfriend. She punched me in the head, and she called the cops. I only known her for a month, I mean a week, before I moved here. Look up here. Why'd you move in with her? <laughs> because Why? I thought that she, you know, had a nice ass, had a nice <laughs> thought I was in love with her. <laughs> Sorry for oh. my language, but, you know. Young and stupid. I see. So I told her to go. And now? No more, uh... And now I'm just going to school. No more girls. No more dumb girls. The girls are trouble, huh? The girls are trouble. All right. OK, go have a seat, Tony. We'll call you back in Over here in there? a little bit. No, back where you were. They'll call you back in in a few minutes, OK? She's only been in CCDC once. But she keeps it up this way. She'll end up with a long list of photos, just like the rest. All right, Tammy, I spoke with your mother. All the information checked out. We're going to go ahead and release you on your own recognizance. You get out without having to post any money. It's get out of jail free card. It's the easiest way to put it. Jail free, you mean you got to pay later? No. No. Just show up to court, though. Yes, ma'am. If you don't show up to court, then they'll issue a warrant for your arrest, OK? All right, Tony. Good luck. Do you want to go back over there and sit down? Yeah, go right back to your seat, OK? She lucked out. He gets to go home soon and not have to put up any money. Some of the mistakes will stay with you, and DUI is one of them. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about nine years now, and been part of the Special Emergency Response Team, our CERT team here. We're in charge of taking care of disruptive inmates, cell extractions, riots, high-risk transports. The first time I came here, I saw these guys wearing these uniforms, and I said, I want to be a part of that. And I tested for it, made it, and now I'm a team leader, so I love it. More, 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 more. We just had a code called for an officer emergency up in our disciplinary housing. So we're spotting upstairs. Watch your step. Get out the door, gentlemen! Get out the door! Get some shackles. Get out the door, 2-1! Get out the doors! Stand them up, walk them out. Get the walk. Keep your head down and look up. Keep your head down and shut your mouth. This is nose a little bit. Check his knuckles real quick. Looks like they got into it, had a little bit of a fight, so we're going to take it to our isolation housing now. What was that about, man? Oh, I've been waiting to get that P through work, and that's the only way I could do it. I ain't had a report since I've been here. I'm here for murder. Were you guys out here on free time together? Or? No, he was, I've been waiting for him to get medication the same time I'm out. 
Okay. Find this guy next door. Yeah. Oh, so there were, is there a medication pass? Yeah. So he's been throwing urine and all stuff, and he's next door to you, right? They, the, the cops even know about it. Um, he puts it out blatantly. They're going to patch it down real quick. So you're going to go up and talk to the officers, see what happened? Yeah. For, before I do any of that, um, he's got a, a black mark on his right hand in the palm area. Might be lead or possibly ink from a pan. I'm not sure there was a weapon used in the attack, but that would be very good evidence. When we get out, you can do your clothes on that. So I think right. we should go back and search the area to see if we can find anything. There's been a weapon used. He was kind of fiddling around over here, and we were doing the med pass over there. And then he was kind of like just, and every now and then, next thing you know, it's like we're over here. Can't really see him because of the angle. And he was like, boop, came right around us, right into the room. And he was on free time, right? He was on free time, yes. Did he have a pen in his hand? No, I didn't see anything in his hand. Eight. I mean, he does have his pens and stuff. Is there any with the hands removed? No, not this one. Yeah. I just want to look around and you saw the picture. A possible weapon. Was he hit in the body or just the face? Uh, I was asleep. Okay. Can you lift your shirt up for me? Ah, it hurts. Can you lift your shirt up, though? It hurts in my neck. Okay. <laughs> Can you stand up, please? What's up with painkiller? Where did he turn around? Turn around. Can you see your face? Just got hit good. No, that's a cut. Yeah. No, so there's like right there. Yeah, a cut. So that would be from a finger now. Well, All right, have a seat. So what happened? Oh, um, I was asleep. And the officers came to give you your medication, right? Yeah. Okay. And then as Officer Alessandrini said, there was a blur of blue as he came in the room and attacked you. Is that right? Copy. I was asleep. Okay. And then? Then I woke up. So that was it. You were just asleep. And all of a sudden, you were still asleep. No, I'm awake now. Right, but then? And now, since I'm awake, my neck and my back hurts. Okay. My neck, my back, and my arm hurts. So now I'm awake, but before I was asleep. Okay. Thank you. I thought that was a good Curious. possibility of a, you know, use of a weapon. Yeah. Which would add to more severity to the charges. Yep. All right. He took an opportunity. He's here on some serious charges. Yeah. So he doesn't have anything to lose anyway. To lose. Yeah. Okay. So. Just an assault then, no deadly weapon involved. No. This guy was the primary attacker, so I need to ask him a few questions and I'll hopefully determine if we're gonna rebook him and we're gonna do the uh, in-house discipline on him. Perry, I'm Sergeant Walquist, how are you? Good. Uh, what happened in the fight today with, with the other guy? Oh, you mean I'm being charged for that? I, don't, I haven't decided yet. I don't know yet. But before I question you, I got to ask many, this. How many years would that be? It could be anywhere one to six years for battery well, by prisoner. Top of a murder sentence. Yeah, well, yeah. I just want to know what happened. Why'd you fight with him? I didn't really consider it a fight. He wanted to throw pee, so he paid the price. Did he throw pee at you? Yeah. Okay. What, That's under the door? I've been waiting for my chance to get, get at the pee thrower. So you went in there, how many times you hit him? Um, only uh, twice, but I know that one time I did, because um, I felt it, this one went in his eye. Oh, okay. Um, use a weapon or anything? Pen, nothing like that. What was the ink spot on your left hand? Um, they had, uh, well, you can give me some charges for that, too. I don't care. Um, they gave me a pen uh, this morning, and um, I want to see if it wrote. Oh, okay. So it was just a test to see if it wrote. All right. Anything else you need to tell me? No. Cool. All right. Thanks. 
he admitted that he fought with him. He said why he did it. So um, I'm pretty well convinced we'll go ahead and rebook now on top of the in-house discipline. And uh, carries one to six, so we'll see what happens. Certain nights of the week, you never know what's gonna come walking through the door. Most of the people aren't too happy about coming to jail. It's not always a pleasant experience for them. Their attitude pretty much defines how their stay is gonna be. Basically, we don't want anyone to get hurt. We don't wanna get hurt. I wanna go home in the same condition that I came to work. Oh, I'm not even squirming. I'm not tensing up. Doing whatever they tell me to do. Leave me alone. They got no hey, need. Hey, 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 stop. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, here we go with the arm. Stop it. Yeah, get off my arm. Stop. Quit bending my wrist. Settle down. Leave me alone and I'll cooperate. Quit hurting me. Let go of my damn hand. Calm down. Yeah, calm down. I am. Why? Because I'm speaking loud? Oh my god, he's a threat. He's talking loud. Oh, shut up now. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Hey, hey, stop. Oh, my bad. I ain't loving you. Come on. Hurt my mother's freaking wrist, man. Hey, yo, stop, man. This is crazy, stop. man. I stop. didn't even do anything stop. to these folks. Look what they did to my back, dude, and I didn't even resist. Stop. And I turned around and I listened to him. I did all that. Yeah, well, but you need to chill Who's up. saying that? Who's saying that? I said that. Oh, hey, boy. Hey, so check hey, that out. Hey, hey, shut the hey, up, you ugly bitch. Hey, hey face hey, forward. Hey, What's your name, homie? Oh, boy. Pet your what? Don't ever Pet forget it. Pet. Why you listen? Why you doing it? Look you what they did to my wrist. Just pay attention here. I'm done with your questions. Put me in the cell, homie. I'm done. <laughs> Pet your... What you want? Hey. Dog, look. What you gonna do about it? Have a seat, big guy. Kill him or keep your mouth shut. Get that in my arm. Look at that. They just took it. Stop it. Stop it. You're not following instructions. Okay. You're pulling away from the officer. He can't stop. I'm not resisting. Why are you pulling my arm? Look at my left wrist, please. Stand up. Come on. Both Pick arms. me up, then. I'm gonna stand up like this. Oh? No, stand up on your face, Russ. Stand up on your face. Throw me in the chair. Try to get him to calm down. Wasn't following any directions. So when I hadn't placed him in the restraint chair, code five. As long as he stays like that, he's in there. Hi, guys. I don't know what's going on tonight. Everybody's been coming and wanting to fight. They're talking back to us. They're challenging us to fights. They're challenging each other to fights. He's very, very intoxicated. He's here for trespassing. So if he would just calm down, he'd probably be right out of here. With that attitude, he's going to delay his release. Huh? What you going to do about it? Yo, yo, yo. Huh? Shut up. Leave it alone. Check that out. Hey, hey. Do something about it. Hey, You're in hey. the county jail, old boy. Hey. Why are you, why you tripping? Right hey, because because hey, I got little punks like this over here talking some You know out. what I'm saying? Stay seated. Don't get up. Get Let up. me get in a box and have him say something. Let's do it. I'm down, old I'm boy. Boxing. I'm down as you don't want to get him. I'll break your neck, old boy. Sit down. I'm going to tell you what Who's first? Who's first? Shut up. A little too intoxicated, can't control himself. So. You don't even know about this. We're going to get him out of the area, let him sober up in the side cell alone, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to pull him out later on and let him finish the booking process. Stay like this until the door closes, man. Just relax. Hey, more. Hey, more. What? Hey, more. Women. Hey. What? Hey, old boy. All right, Russell's calmed down now. He's been removed from the restraint chair. Do you remember anything that happened that got you here? Had you been drinking or something? What do you get charged with? Obstructing, littering, and pedestrian on a highway. What does that mean, pedestrian on a highway? I mean, you're walking in the roadway, basically. Look what they did, man. Look what they did on my back. I know, they, they tasered you, didn't they? So that tells you that I did turn around when they said so, right? Because I didn't get shot in the stomach. They tased me. Yeah. No, just calm down and sober it up a little bit. We're giving you your OR, but we don't have to give you that. But since you've been cool with us lately, we're going to go ahead and give you the OR. So you'll be getting out of here in about 10 or 12 hours. Just because you've been charged with something also doesn't mean you've been convicted of it. So. Patrick was really upset and 
argumentative when he came in. So I'm going to go down here and talk to him. He's had a little bit of time to calm down. Patrick, so what got you here tonight? Uh, I, I was, I took my daughter to see Cats and Dogs at the, the little dollar theater, you know, whatever, you know. And then when I brought her back, stepdad called the cops on me for trespassing. Me and stepdad don't get along. Okay. Know? And that's what the whole thing's been like, the whole situation, like the whole time, you know. Did you drink tonight? What'd you do tonight? I, I had something to drink. I, I had probably like 3.32. What about anything else? No. Not, didn't take anything? No. Prescription or non-prescription? No, I don't do drugs. Okay. Man. You just had a little, you had some, yeah, something had some to drink. Beers, you know, did you know this is like my 40-something time to this book? Try to make better choices so you stay out of here, okay, Patrick? All right? I'm going to go get your breakfast right now, okay? okay? Thanks for talking, Patrick. Patrick's still got a lot of anger. He should not be in GP right now. He's good. Where he is is, is good right now. He's by himself. Hopefully he'll sleep it off by the time he's ready to be released. as busy as it gets every night it's the same thing it's over flooded with inmates but as long as you have a good system and the, your partners that you work with then it just flows by really easily uh, the problem you have is that when everybody comes in when you have the people that are upset and angry and are causing problems that's when it starts to become difficult for us because we have to worry about taking people to side cells calming people down but it also makes the night go by pretty fast why are you here tonight possession of methamphetamine what did you get pulled over for? I was texting and driving, and so I swear. Ooh. So they just brought more attention to you, and they found... I had methamphetamines in my car. My fiancé passed away a year ago, and it's been really hard. Do you mind me asking you how he passed away? Uh, cocaine overdose. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. Thank you. Do you have any kids? Oh, and my daughter. Thank you. All right, ma'am. This row right here, all the way down the very last chair. you got to go see medical behind you. Yeah, that row right there, all the way down. What's her deal? She got pulled over because she was texting, she swerved, and they found methamphetamine on her. Oh. So she's been using for a while because her fiance passed away doing the same stuff. So, so that's how she copes. All right, you got everything filled out? Okay. Did you go to any counseling or anything like that afterward or try to work through it? Nobody's gonna bring him back. You know, that's the only thing that's gonna help me. But you do you want help? Of course, I want to live. I have a daughter. How does that affect her? Does she does she, I does she know? I don't really see her too much anymore. Her father takes care of her. It's just hard. It's, really, it's tough. You know? Once you qualify for this OR, then you're here for about six to twelve hours. You'll get back out again. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Right here, ladies. Right here. Okay, ma'am. I want you to spread your feet. So. You're out joyriding in a car that didn't belong to you. Yes? Yeah. And then you get pulled over, or you just, well, were you already stopped? No. The guy that I, I got the car from, I happened to bump into and remember that he had robbed me in 2005 for like all my stuff and my kids' stuff and everything. You happen to remember, got yes. it. And I told him, um, he told me it was a rental car. I told him, I said, I'm, I want that rental car for the rest of the time you have it. You know? Then tonight, he tells my friend that introduced us that um, he stole it from his job. He works at Caesars and he took it from ballet. But he didn't tell you that that time. He Hell no, he didn't tell me that because he's trying to get away from me because he thought I was going to have somebody beat his ass for robbing me from 2005. All right, ma'am. Second from the last row, all the way down the very last chair. Coming through. Next. Come here. Hang on. A Did you come in with her? Do you know her? I was. I'm the one that was basically working. She was gonna go sell that car, <laughs> and I ended up being stuck with her. Why am I being charged with a stolen vehicle? If it's not mine, it's hers. She you were there. I That's what happens when you don't choose better friends. All right, you're gonna go to the second to last row, all the way down the last chair. Behind you guys. Both of these ladies come in, and they're very fidgety. They're very all, all over the place. The first female says that she ran into a guy that had robbed her a long time ago, so she was gonna get back at him. So she takes his rental that she didn't know was stolen. She picks up her friend. They go off to clean up the car and sell it. And then they end up getting stopped by the police. And now they got brought in for that. 
we'll work through it and figure out what's going on. When these come off, you're gonna place your hands behind your head. What are you gonna do when you get out of here? Go see my daughter. Huh? Go see my daughter as a person. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Have a seat over here. I want you to go ahead and take off all that jewelry. You need some lotion? Yeah, no, I can get it. Is this the ring your fiance gave you? Yeah. That's beautiful. We got engaged on Christmas and he passed August 26th the of next, 09. The next year? So we were engaged for, what, eight months? Here, do you want me to get those? Um, yeah, I can't get them all. Your hair is all tangled up in it. You know, feeling the emotions that you do right now, does that normally make you want to go and get high so you don't have to deal with it? Absolutely. Is that what you're thinking about right now? No. I'm no? thinking about how I don't want to feel like this anymore. I know, but how do you not feel like this anymore? I don't know. I don't have the answers to that. There you go. Okay. Chin up. All right, Hillary, come up here. All right, here's a copy of your charge. You got the PCS meth. You got a felony $3,000 bill, okay? Yeah. Let's go into the next room. Thank you. We're almost done. I think that's a really important decision for you to say that you want to go visit your daughter because there's nothing more important in the world for your kids to know that their, their mom is around and they want them. Yeah. She needs you right now. Thank you. Okay, go have a seat. When drugs get a hold of these people, they have no way to overcome it. They don't know how to help themselves. And the children are always affected by this. And just the only way she knows how to cope. So I hope that she can find something that works better for her. Right now, I'm going to go up and see Jennifer, who's being housed here, see what her plans are, if she's going to be able to get out of here. I was here earlier when you were booked in. What, what's, your, what's your deal? Are you, what, the, what are your charges exactly? What are you going to be? My charges are possession of a stolen vehicle and receiving stolen property. You were very uh, excited, very happy when I last saw you. What do you hope will happen? I'm hoping to at least go to OR, you know, because I'm not trying to remember my charges. I'm not trying to, you know, I know what I did was wrong. I got to face music, you know what I mean? I hope you can take what you have with you right now, what you're learning, and take it with you on the outside because you don't need to be in here and you've got priorities like your children and that's where you need to be. I know that. I do. I, I so do know that. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow at court. That's all I want is to go back to my family. really busy the last few nights. We've had a lot of people come in for domestic violence, a lot of intoxicated people. Everyone's been wanting to fight. They're wanting to fight each other. They're really coming in wanting to fight us. They're angry with us. It just rolls that way sometimes. All right, sleep it off. We'll be back for you. Get over here. Get over here. What, what you tweaking off of, man? You tweaking? Yeah, you are. You tweaking, huh? What happened tonight, man? I had a problem with the girl, man. Problem with the girl? Yeah. You're what? moving too much, man. What's up? He thinks you knocked his skin off me, man. And that's I very light hands, I tattoo all day, man. That's not cool, man. That's not a good feeling. Alright, my man. Sit down. Go down to the end of the aisle, have a seat. What's that? See ner see medical first, okay? See medical first, okay? This way. Down here, down here. Straight down. What's the status on my man right here? Domestic violence, but he's he's tweaking hard in his parole. Officer wants him also because he's obviously tweaking ain't part of your Yeah, you can tell, you can tell definitely that. <laughs> That's a little bit parole violation, so okay. Yeah, we're gonna break this maybe. What, what what is he on? Are you serious? Yeah. My dad What? You can't sit still. My mom, you have all these involuntary hey, muscle my mom movements. Gave me all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm your mom? Listen, I know how to read. Oh, I, I okay. All right, your body language is like that. It is? Yeah. I'm doing that? Right yeah, now I'm are. doing that? Okay. My dad is actually dying. What's all the way causing your sweating and all the redness of your eyes? What? You tell me. No, you are. What I was trying? What? Just asking you out of concern. I Point Loma in San Diego. My grandpa's on this side, my grandma's on this side. So you're not a uh, using any type of speed no. right now at all? What are you talking about? Oh. 
Good. I'm glad you have no grief. You know, I hope all your family dies. That's quite David, hurtful, what's up with sir. That, man? You have no idea what I'm saying to you. I'm trying to say, why my eyes are red? Yes. Because when I go, and you're so defensive. You're so defensive. Sit down. You sit down. I don't like this. Let everybody know that. Do you understand me now? David, do not jump up. Don't jump up at me, David. Do not hop up. Be a big mistake. Don't hop up. Big mistake. Let you know that. I tried hard, man. Hard as hell. Going, going down there, David. Go see him now. He's talking about ten different subjects at once. Yeah, he can't he even answer a simple question. I don't know if he has money. <laughs> he has money. Wow. Wow. Girls. <laughs> I know. I got it covered up good. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hundred and forty dollars. She said that was from one date. So she had a good uh, date. She got. She said she got lucky. Yeah. Yes. And then she got arrested right after that. Yep. All right, you girls, tell me, when you go there to those casinos and security picks you up, how does security know? They know you? Yeah, they know us. If not, then they can tell by either the way you dress or... The Gucci bag. Your bag. The Gucci bag. <laughs> the Gucci really? bag. And because we're the only 19, 20-year-old girls walking through the casino, and every time an old man walks by, we say, Hi, sweetie, where are you? We're the only ones. <laughs> what do you Hi, say? Hi, sweetie. Where are you going? That's it. And if he comes to us, then we're like, let's go. So you're just in there in the casino doing what you do. When they partying. ask us what we're doing, we say we're partying and hanging out. And they're like, but you're not 21. We're just hanging out. We didn't know. We're just people watching, watching the host. We're bird watching. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Bird watching. Yeah, we're just sitting, observing. Use the buddy system? Yes. You go out together, safety yes. in numbers? We try to, and then when security comes, we split. You split up because it's they harder. Can only catch one. Because yeah. it's harder to catch. Except two. for today. Right. Except, yeah, except for today. You walk right into him. How many times have you been here? This is her seventh time. Your seventh, seventh time, and what about you? Second. Second. Okay. She's but I've been longer. observing for a year and a half longer than. And she. how long have you been observing? Three months. Three months. Okay. And I've been here seven times. <laughs> It just is, it's fascinating to me with the whole running, with the high heels, because I think I would break my ankle if I ran in I thought so too, but after a week you get used to it. So tonight when maybe other observers saw you guys. As we were being taken to the back, I had an observer friend who called, and I picked up and said, run, bitch, run, because she was so standing right there. And how do you guys know all your phone numbers? You all just trade phone numbers so you can text each other? Yeah, it's, it's called, called socializing. 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 And that's... <laughs> How we communicate with the other observers, right? And and help each other out so that you don't you don't get brought in for observing. Now you girls are really young. How long are you planning to observe? Um, are we saving for college? Yes, I'm only going to go to CSN. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's no, good. No, really. I went for a while, and then I had to take time off for family, and I'm going okay. back. Are you going to go back? I have a family to take care of. Okay, girls. Well, good luck to you. They're both so young, and you know they're kind of bright. They are bright, and and it doesn't appear that they're involved in drugs right now. So hopefully they have some goals and they'll stick to it, and get themselves out of this lifestyle. And if they do come back, I'm gonna have to say something to them. Oh yeah. Yeah. David is still here. He's housed upstairs on our seventh floor. He's got several charges. One of them is a parole violation. Looks like he's headed back to prison. How are you feeling these days? Oh, oh, great. Compared to when you first came in? Oh, it's hard, man. Oh, man. Oh, my job, man. Yeah. But, uh, I have lost the money. Do you remember when you first came, came in here? Yeah. Do you remember me? You don't really remember me, too. David? Look, I was going through a lot of grief, so. You kind of looked like you were really. Out there. But look, I'm way out there. I'm yeah. always going. But your I'm eyes were so red. Were you, I had you been, had you been I using felt something? No, I, was, I told you, I couldn't cry. I want to get help. And as soon as I get out, I want to sign up for some help. I want to do something different with my life. You know what I mean? I want to take it into another direction. I want to dedicate myself to my art, my, my, my tattooing, my. You know what I mean? Chin up, hang tough, you know. Okay. Appreciate you guys coming back. All right. Take care, man. All right, David. Good luck to you.
It does sound like he wants a better life for himself. Let's see what happens. We get just as many female as we do male inmates. The majority of the females that are arrested are arrested for prostitution. Females can be just as dangerous as the male inmates. Fortunately, I work with a lot of great people who are great backup. So you guys are back. What are you back for this time? Trespass. Trespassing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So how much do you charge? Let's just say I on a normal night. Staying at. On a normal night, how much do you normally make? I ask them. The first question I ask is, where are you staying? Mm -hmm, but so your if, they're, if someone's staying at the Bellagio or someone's staying at the Trump, then obviously I'm not going to tell them <laughs> three or four hundred dollars. I'm going to tell them a thousand or better. What's the most you've ever gotten in one night? One guy took me to a wedding. He didn't have a date for his wedding, so he took me as his date for a wedding. And paid me, he paid me $2,500 a day for six days. Aren't you scared that something bad's going to happen? I mean, that's a pretty dangerous occupation that you have. Some people like it's that. Like You're a, a 50, cop. 50. Your job is dangerous. <laughs> I have a pretty good feel about people. I mean, you can talk to them before you go upstairs and stuff, and you know. Yeah, and you can kind of be choosy. Yeah, like you don't have to pick somebody you don't want to go with. How long have you been doing this? Since I was 14. Since you were 14? How old are you now? I'm 20. You're 20, and you are? I'm 21 now. Wow. All right, come on, ladies. Follow me. All right, Whitney, I'm going to have you first. OK, turn around and face that way. Spread your feet for me. So how much longer do you think you're going to be a prostitute? As long as people buy this I'm going to sell this OK? As far as having a normal life, Maybe when I'm 30. Why, is that old? Yeah. <laughs> really? 30's old, really? No. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna have a retirement party? In jail. The day I decide to quit being a prostitute, you guys can throw it for me. Be like, yeah, you're not gonna come here no more. All right, come on over this way. You know the drill. First row, don't get up unless you raise your hand. Do not talk to the males. All right, just come on over this way. And so how long do you think you're going to be a prostitute? When do you think you'll stop? I'm going to do this until I am old and ugly. Oh, 30? No. <laughs> I won't be old and ugly at 30. Right? Well, according to Whitney, 30 is old. She might be old and ugly at 30. That's because she's only 20 and she thinks 30 is <laughs> old. No, um, I don't know. I actually would like to start my own business with this money, hopefully. What kind of business? Um, I actually want to open a marijuana dispensary. OK, I'm sure you know the rules. Sit out in the first row. Don't get up unless you raise your hand. If you have any questions, raise your hand. Do not talk to the males. They don't have any money anyway, so you're wasting your time. <laughs> OK, thank you. All right. You know what? They both enjoy what they do. They never give us problems, I guess, to each its own. Separate your feet. What's this in your pocket? What is it? No, I cannot believe it. You can take it all off. Take it all off. Take it off. I am. Take it off. No, do not you stand me up against the wall. I'm not trying you to kick have you. This no, get off of me, you bitch. Who's grabbing my yeah, wrist like this, though? How? Somebody's grabbing my wrist hurt. No, do not grab my wrist like that. Do not do this to me. I'm not no damn criminal, dude. My wrist hurt. Do not grab my wrist like a criminal. No. Don't do that to me. Sit down. Ow. Oh my God, whatever, dude. Do whatever you want to do. So what's the deal with her? Uh, she was disrupted in the courtroom. She was arguing with the judge, uh, started using profanity. Uh, while her case was being heard, the judge went ahead and told her to calm down. She didn't. I hate yep. Metro. I hate all police. <laughs> Hey, look, I came here on my own recognizance to get my stuff situated because I'm trying to get back into school, and this is just really a disruption of what, what did you have to say? he just all of a sudden got tough, like, you need to sit down. Like, why, well, what why is that just, telling me? Well, why didn't you just sit down? This okay, but I, I'm, like, wondering because if I sit down, I, I was not trying to have no warrants or not trying to be in jail or not trying to do none of that because... Are you under the influence right now? So no, I'm not. I, no. Well, I, would, I had, like, a couple of drinks last night, but I'm just really But irritated. not today? No, not today. 
Okay, you don't do drugs? No, I don't. Okay. okay. All right, sit in the chair and cool down. Amanda has to wait a little bit longer because her charge was more serious. Whitney got an OR, which is a own recognizance. She gets out. She doesn't have to pay bail. All right, Whitney. Are we ready for her? We are. All right, come on up, Whitney. Yeah. Count your money, make sure everything's there. Have you ever had a regular job? No. Why don't you go to school? I don't have the time. You know, I have a two-year-old. You have a kid. Yeah. I did not know that. He stays with my mom, and like I see him every couple days. But he's in good hands. Oh, yeah. The best. So off to work you go, huh? <sighs> Nothing I can say to convince so you to uh, change your occupation? I don't think so. Not Just yet. say, see you next time. <laughs> Well, see you next time. I'm not going to give up on you, Whitney. I'm going to okay. change your mind eventually. Be careful, OK? All right. Sad. So, Michelle, did you get some chance to make some phone calls? Oh, I you trying to talk to you? Yeah, I did. Did you? Did you get some things straightened up? Uh, yeah, Guess. I got some things straightened up. Yeah, you're a lot calmer now. You should be out in three days. She only gave you three days contempt. That's not too bad. So hopefully they will see my side of things. <laughs> Good luck, Michelle. She seems she's calm now. Hopefully she'll get through this process without getting in the chair again. I think she will. Yeah. We'll see. All right, thanks. and that happens a lot on our weekends, things can get crazy. I mean, you've got people coming in, and if they're not maintaining order, if they're being disruptive, then it, it's very crazy. You have to be on top of everything at all times. You gotta make sure that they understand the rules and follow the rules. It's the only way we can make this whole, the whole processing work. Stand up straight. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. You're having a hard time standing up. You've been drinking alcohol tonight? It's not your problem. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> so is it OK to drink and drive in Italy? Talk to my, with my lawyer. With your lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Did you just spit? No, she disobeys. I got her. OK, you're going to go see medical now. No, Come on. I want my job. No, you don't get to wear that right now. Excuse us. Sit down. She's Italian. You don't speak English at all? No. Yeah, she does. No. How much Nothing. did you drink tonight? Nothing. No alcohol? No. I'm going to go find out from the officer what happened. Did she have an accident tonight? The witness uh, saw her driving out mm -hmm. of the parking lot. She pulled in a bar and passed out at the wheel. Oh. And uh, then patrol showed up, and she was still in the car engine running. OK. Was she cooperative with you guys? Relatively. Okay. Yeah, she's, uh, she wasn't uncooperative, but she's just so drunk that she can't right. really function. Okay. So she, but, Basically, she's been, okay. she got a little bit of. Like she was out there. I yeah, don't know if you saw that. Yeah, just a little, that. you know, this is not her first rodeo. OK. So how much you drink tonight? You got to keep still, OK? All right, Nora. Do you want to keep her here for the BP? That she's sitting still? You OK? Yes, sir. I'm going to hang on to you so you don't fall. OK. You OK? Yes, ma'am. OK. Right there. There. And don't get up until we're here to tell you to, OK? Listen, if you okay. cooperate with me, I promise I will get you through this system. You do know you've got to do a blood draw soon, right? No, I don't. Uh, no. I'm more. You don't have a choice. I don't want to. You have to. You... I have to? Yes. It's what? It's, 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 it's when? the law, ma'am. It's the, the way the things work. What is the law? What is the law? Tell me. I'm just looking out for your best interest. You're going to look silly. No You're going to fight us. No and you're going you, to okay. You see that black chair right there? That's where you're going to be sitting. It's not comfortable. I want the law. You can't fight it. You can't fight I the law. Can. I want the law. Okay. We'll see how this works out. You're we'll not, find the law. You're not going to win. I will. You ready? Come on, let's go. Come with me. Don't be scared. We got this. Part of this. All right, ready for this? No, I don't want it. Why? Because I don't want to. Nora, you don't have a choice. No, I don't have to. Nora, you don't have a choice. Put your arm down and cooperate. This is an hour. Since when? 
Nora, don't fight us because you're going to go in that chair. Come on. Just, what did I say? I said, trust me, right? No, you're going to put me in jail right now. Stop, Nora. Nora, stop. Nora, stop. You're already here. Let her take your blood. It'll be two seconds. Nora? No, 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 no. You're silly. Nora, stand up. Can, can Nora, stand up. Let's go. I will. Can you? There you go. We're going to go in here. Sit down right here. Stand. You chose this. You didn't have to do it. You chose this. Let's remember that. It didn't have to be this way, Nora. Nora's refusing her blood draw. She's not cooperating, trying to make it difficult for the medic to draw her blood. No, this is my decision. This is torture. <laughs> Try to relax. What are you putting in my veins, you stupid? She's taking some blood out of you. Just relax. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that. It's done. It's done. Yeah, it's you done, think? bitch. Was it worth it? Yeah. What did I say about a bad decision? Was that a bad decision? This is delaying your process, everything. I want to talk to my lawyer. Now's not time to be demanding things, ma'am. I will. I'll talk to my lawyer. You will. Stand up, stand up. There you go. Come on. Let's go in here. All right, right here. Put your knees up here. Put your knees up here. Right here. There you go. Oh. Stay in that position until you hear the door shut. All right. Give her a little more time to uh, sober up. She'll be able to come out of the side cell. She'll be able to come out and, and finish with the process. All right. Are you better? Yes. OK. What have you been doing today? No, I'm just like thinking about it. Do you, um, are you sobered up? Yes, ma'am. OK. I'm just wondering, because last night you were kind of mean. You're in no, a better mood? OK. Is that usually what happens when you drink alcohol? Yeah. I begged you to do it the I simple know. way. I told you don't go to the chair. I know. All right, but you know what? When you're under the influence of alcohol, I know you become a I whole know. different you, person. You talk totally different. I mean, you can see now. Like, Absolutely. This is really oh, me, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, Whoa. just, oh. Horrible. I'm just like, I can't even. Well, and maybe use this, you'll always remember, to help you not to drink, right? Mm -hmm. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much, guys. I apologize. Thank you. We know. We know. I really apologize. All right. Every time. It just takes sobering up the next day for the apologies to come. Totally different person. Totally different person. One thing I've always liked about working here is when it gets busy and we gotta really go for it, everybody comes together and we work as a team. There's a good band of brothers and sisters that we have here, and with all, without all of us working together, we couldn't get our job done or our mission accomplished. No. You want <laughs> The two young girls you brought in today. Uh, Actually, they were stopped by security at Walmart mm -hmm. uh, after shoplifting. And uh, when I spoke to them after I read them, Miranda, they both uh, admitted that they came to Walmart to steal clothes. Okay. They had about $110 worth of uh, property stolen. Right. And, and they were both very surprised because they thought they were both going to get away with a ticket. Well, let me go get their story and see how innocent they really are. And... All right, ladies. What happened tonight? We got caught shoplifting at Walmart. You understand this could affect your life for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you get found convicted of it, you could go to one year to ten years in prison. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. This isn't a joke. It's not. You're not going to come into jail, come in, walk right through, make a phone call, and get out of jail tomorrow. I guess we should have thought about that. Yeah, we should have thought about it. Um, who's okay? You're going to have two different types of charges. You got burglary charge and possession of narco paraphernalia, which means you had a little drug residue or something, the little roach that you had. You're also being charged with that. So if somebody doesn't come bail us out, guaranteed war going to be in here till Monday. Damn. So if you're not doing anything over the weekend. Yeah, that's crazy. They sworn it together, right? Because you guys are co-defendants in a case. We're actually going to be separating you guys. 
Uh, I could do that. Do you think this is fun? I don't think it's fun, but I'm not. No way am I coming back here. I'm not coming back here, but I'm not going to sit here and be sad about it. I'm going to try to be as happy as possible. Because it's, it's good it's to keep your spirit up. It's not a good place to be. We'll talk more when your paperwork comes through and we'll get through the process, all right? We just got a call that we're having a Code 5 male come in. It sounds like it's probably being combative. We'll see if he goes in the chair or walks. He called and told us that you were, you know, kicking the back window and... Kicking the back. I'm going to do exactly what you tell me to do, okay, sir. Okay, well, but I did I, not I, keep I, I back window. What happened before you got here, let's put that behind us, okay? Yeah. How's that sound? No but, problem. But you only get one chance. One chance. He's going to walk in. One step out. Hey, can I ask one, one thing? What do you got? Sir, anywhere you can smoke one cigarette? No. <laughs> What they arrest you for? You guys want to arrest me for eighth of pot? Go ahead for it. So for pot, that's it? Yeah, pot. What? Yeah. So do right down. All right, over here to the wall. We'll lead him against the wall. Do his shoes first. I'll be out of here in no time. You've been drinking tonight too. Yeah, I have. Hey, do, do not lose those shoes. I just spent ninety dollars on those. Yes. Do not lose. Them. Yes. Yes. Not lose them. All right, there's your sandals right there. Wow. Got some orange specials for you. Nice. You got your ass. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that comment. Yeah. Straight down here. Where are we going here? We're going to let you uh, sleep it off a little bit. He was kicking and banging in the patrol car, so we're going to place him in a side cell and uh, right. let him soak up for a little while. Keep walking. Keep walking. What? Keep walking. Sir, just keep walking. No. What did you say? Don't resist. Don't resist us. I didn't do what you said, dude. Face the wall. I didn't do what you said. Face the wall. Kneel down, sir. Get on your knees. Okay. 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 Get on your knees. Down. Down. Okay. Stop okay. resisting. Okay. You're not going to move. We're moving. Okay. Do not yell. You understand? I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't move. Do you understand that now? Yes. Do not move. I understand, sir. I don't know what I did wrong in the first place. This guy's still a little fired up. Uh, he's been drinking too much and doing marijuana. He's going to need a few hours to sober up. How did you come across him tonight? Basically, as I was patrolling, uh, there was a citizen that held me down because he was uh, basically sleeping on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, I approached him to see if he was OK. Um, he got up, was very intoxicated. I asked if I could search him. He had that marijuana on him. Once he found out he was going to jail, he just started kicking the windows and uh, trying to get out of his cuffs. So I called the quick by. With this, what are you going to be charging him with? Um, it's going to be possession of marijuana less than one ounce. Okay. And then with the with pipe, it's going to be possession of drug paraphernalia. Okay. And it's got the residue on there too. Well, thank you. Yep. I'll release you on your own recognizance. We'll give you a court date to come back in December, okay? It seems like you're taking more effect to this, being here in jail than your friend. Why do you think that is? She's more of, uh, don't give a <laughs> My mother and my parents separated and stuff. Right. And I just now got on my feet, 19 years old. I'm working a job. I got my own apartment. You know, finally getting on my feet. Mm -hmm. And then that just, that just kills it. She verified your information, so you will be given an OR. You will be getting out sometime anywhere between 12 to 24 hours, okay? I can't even explain it in words. This is horrifying. Worst thing that ever happened. Okay. This is, gonna, this is where you're going to be, okay? Uh, so. All right, go on in. Step on in. Uh, Good luck to you. Okay, excuse me. Pay the consequence if you mess up. Hopefully she'll learn. Kaylin. So, do you really understand and grasp what's going on tonight? I said I knew there was a possibility of going to jail. I just didn't know it was a felony. All I can say is good luck in court. I really don't think it's sitting in on her. Maybe it will tomorrow.
It can be business as usual around here at the jail. We can be just booking people in normal. And then out of the blue, inmates can start fighting and we have to jump into action. We all want to go home in one piece every night. Sit there. Yeah, that's where you were sitting. So why are you shouting? You're supposed to be a nice person. So are you. You don't know how to follow directions. I said be quiet and sit down. So, you. We're done. Sit down. This guy, he's playing. OK. No. I heard everything. You walked up to him and were very disrespectful. You leaned in over his I don't, desk. I don't need to be so. respectful to him because he's CIA. He's uh, CIA. probably... I get it now. Probably... Uh, Sorry, JC, your cover's blown. He knows you're CIA. I don't appreciate being held like this. You are officially arrested, and you are I'm in the Clark County arrested? Detention Center. For yes, what? you are, sir. When I find out what your charges are, we'll let but you know. you're supposed to find the charges. You don't know the charges. She doesn't know the charges. If you cannot cooperate, you will be brought to a side cell. The rest is but up to you. you don't know what I'm, I'm you, sir. supposed a lot. to be charged with, huh? I imagine it has something to do with your intoxication and your I'm bad sorry? attitude, if I had to guess. He appears to be intoxicated. And walked up to our medic, medical staff, leaned into the desk in a very aggressive We're manner. Just sitting here. Waiting. Started cussing at him right away. So, are you a fascist? What I'm kind of what kind of a life are you living, man? Don't call me names, sir. F you too. Uh, yeah, I didn't say that. That's not very nice. Now you've done nah. it. Yeah. Your Fuck night's you gonna go from bad to worse. You don't want to follow directions. No, it doesn't work that well, way. Well, that's what you think, yeah. and that's why this is happening. No. What is he here for? For battery. Okay. He, he kicked an officer. Okay. A leg one. They picked him up. I see. I see. He appears to be really intoxicated. Uh, I know. His best friend would have been the medical staff, but he pretty much told them off uh, yeah. and cursed at them. So yeah. that's over. Stay just like that. You understand? He was verbally abusive in pre arrest. He was uncooperative, was giving attitude with JC, and. He was counseled, and he was quiet for five minutes and started right back up again. So we decided to move him to a side cell. I think he's just really intoxicated. Very upset about being here, so he has a bench warrant. So we'll let him cool off, and we'll see how he does later. Did you just drop that right there? Did you just drop that right there? But we'll see when we get the tapes. So you're saying you didn't drop that right there. You would know if it was yours. I'm just, this could be telling me the truth, could be the difference between a charge and no charge. It You picked it up where? On that bench up there. And you dropped it right there? Yeah. Why would you pick it up on the bench and bring it into the jail? Are you sure this wasn't in your pocket somehow? Because really we can check the camera. We're going to check the cameras regardless, even though you're yeah, being honest yeah, now. Yeah, I put it on the bench, and then I had it in my hands right here. It's going to cost me garbage. And then... Now you're going to have to be... Yes, yes. yes. You're going to have to be searched with your clothes not on. So. Just wait right there. We're going to search her again and make sure she has nothing else on her. All right, stand up. Come in here. All right, now would be the time to tell me if you have anything else on you. She's saying that it's not hers, that she uh, had picked it up from outside as she was walking and carried in to throw it away. But everything that she's been brought in for tonight wasn't her fault. It was uh, somebody else's fault. After they're done stripping her out, they'll uh, bring her back out. And depending on what they find, we'll start the process of booking her in, you know, identifying her and getting our booking process started and see if we're going to add any more charges for introduction of drugs into the facility. So, her problem. We need to go see medical now, so stand up. This row, all the way down at the end, the empty row all the way down to the end, she didn't have anything else on her. Okay. There was no, nothing else. And she admitted when we were in there that she had it on her in mm -hmm. Laughlin, that they missed it, mm -hmm. and she was afraid that we would find it here, and so she dumped it right there. She was down there at a casino passing bad checks, so she was brought in for forgery, okay. burglary, possession of forgery. Okay. She's lied to me the entire time mm -hmm. up here. There's her true name, and then I've got five AKAs that, that we know that she uses. 
Excuse me. Hey. No, I'm okay. Okay. No, I just wanted to. Um, okay, you did not get charged for what we found. Okay, so you got very, very lucky. You are charged with all those felonies, though. You know what you're charged with. Um, I, I, I would suggest maybe try to get some help, get off the drugs that you're using. Okay. So, any questions? Okay. All right. Thank you. We're just here to talk. Okay. Okay. Now, what happened tonight, man? Ah, uh, you know, Mr. Moore, I was kind of a little bit too much. I had to drink, mm -hmm. and I had, uh, how do you say, I don't know, didn't uh, have the chance to have fun for a long time, so I kind of out of the question, okay? okay. Didn't happen anything, okay? If you guys feel like taking me into the process, take me. Otherwise, I just want to sleep and have, how do you say, uh... Would you rather stay here and sleep a little yeah, while? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. How long have you been in Las Vegas? Just three days. Three, oh, that's all? Yeah, oh, that's all. Okay. And you came here from? Four, four, five, four, five, six days. I may have to go back. From Turkey? Yeah. Oh, we came okay. all the way from, from Turkey. Turkey. Okay. All yeah. right. Hope the rest of your vacation is better. I hope. For, hopefully yeah. for the rest of the vacation. I'll tell you what. We'll let you sleep for a couple more, a couple hours, and then we'll come get you yeah, and get you through the process. Uh, okay. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. He's like a, a completely different guy now. Yeah. He, He's come down a little bit. He's not as mad and angry as he was. So, right. you know, it worked out for the better. Okay. And he's even admitting he just needs some sleep. So right. Hopefully the rest of his trip won't be like this. Have a little bit of fun before he goes back home. I've been down in booking for about three and a half, four years. And when people come in, we take a look at their attitude, see if they're going to be able to make it around other people. If, if they can't, we have different tools, like we'll put them back in handcuffs, or we can take them to a side cell and give them a cooling off period. We've got a restraint chair. We can put them in that. So we have a lot of tools to calm people down. Why'd they bring you in today? Um. Something about being naked on the side of the road. Were you or not? Well, well yeah. OK, so you were. That's fine. Well, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I Never. was. It's a bit was cold out there. changing my pants, but you know what? She says you see my in my hand. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I guess. What were you doing? Probably trying to take a leak. OK, probably, or you were? Well, well, yeah. I was, but it didn't work. Where are you from? I'm from California. I'm a traveling man. OK, well, you got to keep your pants on to do that. You know that, right? <laughs> Apparently so. So you got a little pit stop. Come on up. OK, give me your right thumb on that red thing. They consider me a very dangerous man. You don't seem too dangerous? Uh, I know martial arts. OK. I break bones. Who considers break you dangerous? Faces. Who considers you dangerous? The the cops, you guys. Well, I need you to calm down, or else you're not going to make it through the process. Won't get out and get to go on that uh, little sure. trek you're going to do. You have all my respect. OK. Have a seat I, back where you were I, on the I, end, OK? I will not give you no problem whatsoever. I appreciate it. Have a seat on the end. Wait for the nurse to call you up. To the, to the, to the end. end. There you go. Yeah. I, I mean no harm to nobody. I hear you. But yeah, they do consider me a dangerous man. Yep. You know, my IQ is pretty high, so let's be... Congratulations. It might be too high for your own to... Really? You want to arrest him? Obviously, your IQ is well, not cool. that high. You, you me for 20 bucks. I think the guy over there in the yellow wants to see you. Oh, the friendly-looking guy. The friendly-looking guy, that guy right there. That is there. so awesome. This is so we're going to do his right thumb and then his left thumb. For what, though? Relax, it's just for fingerprints. Just for fingerprints. Oh, well, it doesn't rest. hurt. Relax. Oh, get my lawyer. You guys are We don't kidding? have. Listen to me. Come on, man. Do this Why once. Do we're this? asking you once. Nicely. Relax if your you hand. Ask me nicely, I'll I just have do asked it. you nicely. Well, I will. I'll quit. Put your thumb up there. Okay, let go and I'll do it. I'm nicely. not going to let go. Put go your thumb. Come on. Relax your thumb. You guys are all. Relax your thumb. You're on my left arm. You're on my right arm. Relax the thumb. This is why you're in here. Listen, because you guys suck. You got that one? Yep. Yeah. Go on to a side cell. Go to two. Yeah. Your sandals on. Come on in. 
This is an we opportunity gotta, for you to cool down. Let's do it on the Sit down and relax. We're gonna have to leave him in here for a little while. Let's see if he'll calm down. Come down off of whatever he's on, alcohol or drugs, and uh, we'll come back and check on him. Apparently, he doesn't have any identification on him. We're gonna have to find out who he is before we can release him. You brought in the intoxicated John Doe. What'd you guys bring him in for? Uh, he's trespassing down at uh, Plant Hollywood. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. They asked him to leave. He wouldn't. Then he got belligerent and started screaming, F you, this, that. They trespassed him. He refused to leave. Right. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Right. My master, his name is Mr. Kim. He showed me three moves. I've been practicing those moves for 35 years. I've actually been knocked out and punched out myself. Uh -huh. They always catch me when I'm drunk. Uh, so they got a leg up on you already. You're not at your peak when you're drunk. Absolutely. Right, I hear you. All right, we're gonna get you out of those chains here in a minute, all right? I just wanna make sure that I'm safe and I'm not gonna be in any harm's uh, way. You're, you're safe, brother. Okay. You're safe. The guy, did you? He uh, took his pants off and then he started peeing at orders. What happened? He took off his pants and he was urinating under the door? He urinated on his pants and he took them off. Your pants are soaked. He's the fashion police now. He has no pants on and he's commenting on my hair. I'll come back. Absolutely. So apparently, uh, he needs a little more time to cool down. Oh yeah, he's, he's way intoxicated. Not a big fan of your hair style. I like my hair. What do you think? From the I, way he's eating yeah, we need and to, the talking he's doing, you think we should probably just side sell him for a yeah, little bit? Yeah, we need to give him a little bit of cooling off period on his own. Come on, Don. OK, kneel up on that bench for me. We're going to take your cuffs off. I need you to put your hand right up on your head, OK? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, no problem. I mean no harm to nobody. All right, stay there until the door closes. Obviously, he's kind of not in the right frame of mind to sit out with the rest of the crew. All right, man, just uh, chill out and sleep those beers off. So you have nobody that could bring your ID or anything down here so no, we can identify you? No. All right. Um, well, go with her. She's going to fill out your uh, John Doe information, actually. I'm going to give you a copy of your charges. This is, all it is is trespassing. Okay. He's going to fingerprint you. He has to fingerprint you because he works for immigration. Normally, you would bypass this, but because you came in John Doe, we can't identify you. Okay? What country are you a citizen of? Canada? He could have had a bail. He could have been out. However, because he came in as a John Doe, it's going to take a lot longer. Hey, Don, you know why you were brought in, right? Something about indecent exposure. Man, all I know is I was lost. Well, you've been charged with opening gross lewdness. It's a gross misdemeanor. It means you had your pants off in somebody's front yard and you started playing with yourself. That's what that means. That is awfully embarrassing. I was trying to change my pants. I have two pairs of pants. Let's get you out here and get going through this process. I was pretty drunk. I'm totally mellow right now. Right, but I mean, like, I'm detoxing. Yeah. Just stay quiet. We'll just keep an eye on him, try to get him through the process. challenging parts of my day are dealing with people that are in an inebriated state when they're ordinarily reasonable people. One of the most enjoyable aspects of my job currently is the camaraderie down there because not only do we all work together, but we also function as a family unit. I just got a call. Uh, officer needs assistance with a rather large male that's in the back of the patrol car. could possibly be uh, drunk. How are you doing all right? Half. Half? Okay. Awful. Awful? Okay, here's the thing. This is what we're gonna try to do for you. We're gonna try to get you out the back of this car, okay? Okay. All right, perfecto. Watch your head getting out, though, man. There you go. All right, man, go ahead and walk. All right, you all right? Keep yes. on walking, man. Okay, yes. come on. You go ahead and put your go pants on. Go ahead and put your right? pants on, guy. There you go. I know I can. <laughs> He's gonna have the leg. All right, buddy, come see the nurse. Okay. All the way down? Right, All the right, way down. Right turn. Straight down. All the way down to the very end, man. How much do you weigh? We'll go with 370 right now. And how much alcohol did you have last night? None. None? Oh, yeah. Let's see your pupils. Look at me. Open your eyelids. 
Well, they don't, yeah, you've been drinking. How much alcohol did you have last night? Okay, I lied. You caught me. The gentleman was uh, picked up at the Cosmopolitan uh, Casino down on the Strip by a cab. And uh, we had received a call that the cab had been taken by the individual. When we arrived on the scene, the individual was running from the cab. He had just ran into the wall and taken the vehicle from the cab driver. And uh, once we took him into custody, it was determined that he was uh, DUI. We're going to go ahead and get a blood sample from you here. Who were you drinking, beer? No, it Bacon? was that one thing. Four Locos? Yes. Damn, oh, my gosh. I know. See? There she goes. <laughs> I was trying to get away with it, and she okay. nailed it. How many of them did you have? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to fib. I will go with one and a half. You, you lie it. You lie, come on, man. You lie. We'll go with one and a half. <laughs> no, I'm a, I, you know what? Just because you're built, I'm going to say you have four. I'm getting all kinds of attention today. That's right. Because, because we like it's you. only because I'm a attention whore. I really am. I'm such really? an attention whore. Look, Couldn't look. tell. She's good. She's good. I'm telling you. I'm telling all right, you. Ernest, go ahead and stand up for me. Yes. Hey, thank you for cooperating with us, Ernest. Really oh, no. appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. Turn to the right for me. Keeping, I'm keeping the drawers pulled up. Hold them tight. Don't flash the girls. <laughs> he said don't flash the girls. You guys are awesome. I love you. Hey, just keep it down, all right? I'm just a little agitated. I'm sorry. Everything was great. And now I'm going to miss class. What are you going to go to school for? Dental hygiene. Dental hygiene? Yes, dental hygienist. I already got my associates in general studies. So what happened out there, man? I was drinking booze. I'm not going to make an excuse about it. You were in an accident? No. No accident? No. Thank God. Except for the taxi cab, right? No. You here for a DUI? No. What you here for? I, I, you know what? I wish I knew what I was here for. <laughs> you here for a DUI? OK, so you now, a taxi cab now you an know that I'm in here for a DUI. Okay. And so. a hit and run, actually. I jumped into the cab and wrecked it? Is that what you said? Yes, and then you drove off. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Do you know half of the inmates in prison are in prison for crimes that they don't remember committing? Why? Because they were high, and you don't remember Let's go. beating the out of somebody. Come on. So too bad, so sad for you. All right. All right, next time, don't get too drunk. Don't get too high, all right? You're going to prison for the rest of your life, OK? Okay, Ernest. You know? Yes, sir. I'm not going to resist. Right. You know what I mean? You guys would beat the right. out of me and put me in a tank, half naked, police right abuse. Too bad. It's so sad. Yeah. Love you guys. It's coming into the jail real agitated, so we're going to leave him in there, see if he cools off and uh, sobers up after a while, and then we'll bring him out, get through the process. Officer McCann, let's check on Ernest in number two and see what his status is at this time. Here, I already have him out. You got it. Ernest, how you doing? I'm Sergeant Schlossberg. Nice. Um, I know what you mean. I understand where you are. Do you, uh, you have any recollection of why you're here in jail? No, sir. You have no idea? No, sir. Wow, you did some real crazy stuff last night. You stole a taxi cab and... Drove into a wall or something, and then when the police got you, went running away, and they you actually tried to run away from the police, and they yeah. had to get you. Yeah, that's what happened, man. Yes. I think you've seemed pretty humble, and that's how we need you to be. So I'm thinking maybe we can take you out of here, and you can go into the day room okay. and open booking. Okay. I can manage that. All right, Officer McCann. I, whatever you'd like, I think you can take him out and put him in open. You can put him in open day room. All right, come on out here. Straight this way. We're going to have you sit in the first row right here. If you need to get that out of your seat for any reason at all, you make sure you raise your hand and ask for permission first, OK? All right, thank you. He has really got a tough road to go here. You know, he seems like a pretty mellow guy. He must just get on that stuff and uh, and lose it. He's definitely better, uh, better now. I'll, I'll keep my eye on him. All right, great. All right. Thanks. After arrest and before trial comes jail, 
All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Working in a county jail, you see every type of crime. And one thing that still amazes me are those people that are brought in think for things like probation violation. They've been given a second chance. They just have to follow some rules, and they can't even do that. What's in your bra? No, 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 stop. What is it? Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're still going. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Yes, you do, too. No, I don't. Stop grabbing for it. Uh, we're still going. Check your other side. So do we need to do a strip search on her? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're still going. What else do you have on you? Just syringes. You have syringes? Where? Thank you for telling me that. I totally appreciate it. Where's the syringes at? Right don't don't grab for them. So it's in the front? Yeah, it's not inside me. It's just Are they covered? Yeah. Let me go get a female officer. Uh, Cope should be over there. All right. Okay. Cope's gonna come yeah. over and help us. Hey, I'm not gonna fight him. No, please so don't. Was, uh, it's just there. really serious. But I'm glad you told me about the syringes. That's a, that's a big deal. All right. You're not gonna reach for anything. No, okay. Keep your hands behind your back. Let's go into that room. I'm going back to prison. I just got out. I just. What are you doing then? I got a drug problem. What's her charge anyways? Burglary tools. You want to you? Especially not in prison. Okay, right here, ma'am. This row, hey, this row, all the way down the very last chair. She says she just used one of them, and the other one was already empty. Yeah. You brought in Amy? Yeah, I brought her in. She was a passenger in a vehicle. They ran a red light, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> stopped when they were acting a little weird. Uh, the driver ended up having uh, warrants for out of the city jail. I pulled them both out. Uh, she was acting, she was still acting a little weird. Ended up searching her purse, found some possession of, she had possession of uh, burglary tools, mm -hmm. shaved keys, so we hook her up. The entire time she's in front of the car, she's uh, she's moving around, trying to reach, you know, forward, kept moving forward, and I asked her what she was doing. She said she was putting on her jacket, said she was cold. Um, we searched her, didn't find anything on her, and obviously now, Comes out, she has a, she had a lot of stuff in her bra. So mm -hmm. she says she grabbed into her purse and started pulling all that stuff off and stashing them on her because she was afraid because she didn't want to go back to prison. Next female, face the wall, spread your feet. You anything sharp on you, ma'am? No. Where are you in here? I'm not real sure. How, nobody, nobody's sure. Don't say anything to me. Well, okay, so you were fighting with somebody then. Oh, my ex-girlfriend got angry. I just got here. What are you doing hanging out with your ex? Because I thought things would be better. That's what lesbians do, and apparently... <laughs> <laughs> That's what lesbians do? <laughs> You're so funny. So you hang out with your ex, and it wasn't just better. just moved here yesterday. Moved from where? Arizona. I got a job dealing cards. So what was the argument about? I don't really know. You don't even know? Wow, not worth it at all. Do you have a bra on? That's a sports bra. Okay, spread your feet for me as much as you can. Uh, I don't know, but I'm a little upset that I got white shorts on that I gotta go to jail. But because you have white shorts on? Right. They, they look brand new. They look. All right. Um, have you been to jail before? For a DUI. For a DUI in Arizona? Okay. Um six years ago. Uh, yeah, sure is. This is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna have you go have a seat where that other female just was. You'll be screened by medical. You'll hang out here for a little bit, and then we'll start getting you through the process, OK? okay. This row, last chair. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. She uh, just moved out to Vegas yesterday. Been here one day, hung out with her ex-girlfriend, and they end up, from what she says, they end up getting an argument, and she's here for uh, battery domestic violence. She's got a good attitude, and I could definitely appreciate that. OK, where were you at? What were you doing before you were brought in here? What were the circumstances? Oh, it was an Imperial Palace playing poker. She got angry and she said she wanted to go to the room, so I went up there with her and she said I hit her. But she's got this thing when she gets upset, 
Because uh, no. she was in a truck driving accident. Her face got smashed. It's kind of puffy and red. And like the security guys and everything came up there and they were like, do you want to press charges? Do you not? And she said no, like three times. And I was, and then I went to walk outside because I was like, I just want her out of here at this point. And then when I walked outside, she got upset and I asked her again. And that was the end of it. Um, were you guys both drinking tonight? Oh, she was drinking vodka. Vodka? Yeah, you know, some people can't drink that stuff. Really? You weren't drinking? No, I've been drinking, but not not out of control. Not nearly as much. All right, and that's why you're here. Ta-da. Oh, good luck to you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ta-da. All right, well, I'll get you through the process. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you. Amy, real quick. So you, you think the guy that you're with tried to get you in trouble? Yeah. Why? Did he because see, did he he see got, the officer? He had, he had the same, he had burglary tools too and a pipe and everything. So why would he want to get pulled over and get caught? But he ran a red light. And you think he ran the red light on purpose? Yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean to get caught, is that what you're saying? Well, they let him go, but they arrest me. And I wasn't even driving and he had a warrant supposedly. And that's the reason they searched your car and all that. You're here because you screwed nice. up. Stupid. You're here because you screwed up, Amy. Whatever. Coming through. She believes that it's the other guy's fault that she's here, that he did it on purpose to get her brought in, yeah. and that you just picks, uh, you picked on her. What, what charges is she going to be? What's she's she getting be? booked on possession of burglary tools, uh, possession of PC, yeah. possession of controlled substance meth, possession of dangerous drug without a prescription, and possession of a hypodermic device. Some good charges. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. She's very back and forth as far as attitude. It's her responsibility, and she got herself here, and she's going to put herself back in prison. I've been on the department about eight years. The last three years have been spent down in booking. Usually, as officers, we like to weed out the ones that are potentially a disciplinary problem. If we don't, a lot of the inmates will start feeding off that negative behavior and it becomes contagious. So it's pretty important for us to keep them in check. Hello, how are you? Good. <laughs> oh, howdy, sir. Hold on. You're too excited to come to jail. Have a seat right there. No. Have a seat right there. We'll be with you shortly. How you doing, officer? Thomas, long time no see. Okay, yeah, I was just here the other day. Oh, yeah, I missed you. Yeah. You came in one time and you had about five other guys. Oh yeah, the Baby, band. Yeah. yeah. You in a I band? I got albums, yeah. Believe it or not, he's actually a great drummer. He's Are a great you? drummer? Like Tom Ray. Like so Sam he's in your band? Yeah. This guy's in your band. He cut his dreads off last year. Is that when he died his girl? Year? Wow, that was like a big reunion. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, what's your first name? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, all the way down. You're going to have a seat in the last chair away from medical. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, stand up, please. Go and face the wall for us, Daniel. Oh, Daniel, what are we going to do with you? I don't know. What are you going to do with me? I don't know, sir. It's all fun and games until you get handcuffed. Tommy said you guys had a band, so what's the name? Tommy, what, what kind of band do we have? You just go by memory. What band do you have? What's the name I of your band? Remember? What's the rules? Yeah, wh when's the last time you played? Where do you play? All that type of stuff. I play the drums. In his garage? You play the drums. You guys oh, play minute. anywhere? You guys got any gigs? Not yet. Not yet? You guys are working on it, huh? Have a seat in the last chair. Wait for the medical staff to talk to you, okay? Wait a minute. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. This is an interesting pair we got here. One, they were actually inside of a car wash, sitting there just drinking. The actual uh, inside of yeah, a car? Really? inside of it, yeah. Um, cars going through everything. They're just sitting in there <laughs> drinking. They had a thing of vodka. They had signs outside the car wash and stuff, so trespassing stuff for that. And then uh, the other guy, he had a uh, actual highway patrol uniform in his uh, in his bag. So, really? Wow. Yeah, so got him for the uh, stolen property, so. OK, so we're just charging them with trespass and the stolen property? Yeah, and the uh, drinking packaged liquor in a parking lot. Wow. Oh, yay! <laughs> you guys are being way too loud out here, OK? You need to quiet it down. If not, I'm going to take both of you, put you in a cell, no phone, no nothing, for a long time. Keep the noise down, Sir. OK? One and only warning. You guys got it? I understand. All right. 
Can I like no. sit like a couple seats away just to make sure? If that's what it takes. That's what it might take. What are you doing, <laughs> Tommy? What are you doing? Pull those pants up before I charge you with indecent exposure. Hell, have a seat. <laughs> Daniel. This is um, OR paperwork for a release on their own recognizance. Daniel? Yes? This is for you, Thomas. Uh, this is for you. First, your address, how long I, you I, live I, there. I if you're homeless, just mark homeless. So go ahead and fill that out. Hand it back to me when you're done. Apparently, we're nobodies. CCDC doesn't want me here. I can't not a bad thing, though. Yeah, you're not important. Daniel? Yes. Shh. Stand right there. OK. Face this way, face the camera. Your whole uh, body. Your whole body. Oh. Your whole body. Turn your whole body, face this, or you'll be done. And I'll be, what? you'll be. What would I have to do? Put both feet in the box. Facing this direction. Facing this direction, both feet. That would be your right and your left foot, sir. There oh, you go. Like that. Just like I'm that. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Look straight in your head. All right, you want to sit out there all day, sir, because it can be arranged. No, I can no. take that here. Actually, you know what? Let me void this until you can walk right with the process. Hey, no, 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 sit. No, no. Look oh. right here. Look okay. right here. Turn your body to the right. Look right at the window, sir. Now go take a seat. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Tommy, pull those pants up. Eagles. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> All right, Daniel, here is a copy of your charges. Looks like you're charged with possession of stolen property misdemeanor. Wait a minute. Drinking what? packaged liquor misdemeanor and trespassing misdemeanor. Also has basic information, your name, where you're born, which was Provo, Utah. Yeah. Now come on out here. Okay. All right, out this way. Stand up against the wall right here. Right here. All right. Have you been in this room before? Yes, I have. Do you remember the rules in this room? I understand the rules. OK, you're going to sit in the first three rows on the left with the guys. Not when they the call hookers. your name, no, you're not going to sit with the hookers. I understand. All right, good luck to you. Good luck to you, man, all right? All right, take care. Seat. Good luck. No, don't touch. No. Mm -hmm. Just well, go have a seat. can't be friends. Just no. go have a seat. Thomas, come on up here. Don't sit next to him and do me a favor. What you got here? Keep your pants up, all right? I'm seat. working on it. Keep them up. Yes, sir. Good luck, Tommy. I love Las Vegas. He just exposed himself? It was an accident, so. But I just wanted to let you know he's out here in open booking, so. OK, so they're like gas and fire when they're together. Gas and fire, yeah. That's why I want to keep them separated. If they get together, then they may end up in a side cell. But Good choice. All right, Thank thanks, you. Arch. for just under 12 years. Uh, my duties as a supervisor are to ensure the safety of the area, safety of the officers and the inmates alike. And on a daily basis, we receive up to 100 inmates, sometimes more, so never a dull day. Something's going down in booking. Hey, they're about to beat me up. Help! 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 Face forward, face forward. Resisting, I'll go I'm not, I'm I'm not resisting, here. homie. Help! I'm not your homie. Ah, I swear to God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pull your hand away from me. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I mean. He's going to put his hair. Watch that. Put him in there. Take him in there. Ah, sorry, man. Toughen him up. Put him in the chair. I'm calm down. Ah, I'm too. I'm fat to be bending my legs like that, man. Please right, stop. Stop resisting. I'm not, man. You're not. Ah, my legs, homie. Turn around and sit up. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm around. Sit up. Turn it around. Hold up. I'm turning around. Stand up. Y'all can get down. Back. Uh, I did. See, look, look, look. I ain't even resisting. I ain't even moving. I'm not even moving. And they're choking me. I'm not even moving, and they're choking me. Do the pat down. Yo, yo, yo. I didn't resist at all. Yeah, I'll be out tomorrow night. I'll be out tomorrow. Yeah.
when they initially were brought in, they started yelling San Diego in the house, and uh, the officers that transported them were trying to get them to sit down. One of them didn't listen at all, went right over to the females and was saying something to her. Oh, really? And then uh, when they finally got them to sit down, one of them again stood up and started kissing the other guy, made a big scene, started yelling, and that's when we responded. Man, I swear to God y'all wouldn't do this shit if y'all had no batches or no goods, homie. Oh, boy, y'all, my swear to God, y'all some dirty uh, bitch. Breaking us down for no reason, though, right? Got y'all some bitch. All this over a traffic stop. Over a traffic Are you guys serious? Over a traffic Obviously, with 35, 40 inmates or pre-trial det detainees out there, we can't have them out there disrupting our area, so... I'm bringing one upstairs. We're going to keep another one downstairs for a cool down period. There was marijuana in the vehicle. The uh, driver, Randall, was brought in for DUI drugs. The passenger, who claims he's the brother, James, was brought in for a uh, full extradition warrant out of California for larceny. Oh, OK. I don't want no blood test. Somebody stop. They're sticking new needles in me, homie. By Nevada law, we have to take to the blood. He's I'm resisting. Not, I'm just saying, He's man, refusing to do I'm it, so a forced blood draw will be done please. using the restraint this chair. This is not right. So. Somebody help me. Ah, let me go. I don't give no consent. Just not right. Already done. That ain't right, homie. Watch, homie. Watch. This is stage one. Stage two is being inside, so <laughs> with handcuffs on. It's be a little bit more comfortable, but you'll be able to move. Once they come back and check on you, they'll take the handcuffs off. That's stage three. How long is now that it, be, sir? Can I finish? Yeah. At any time you start acting up again, we'll go right back to stage one. No problem. All right, do everything they tell you to do. It's going to be one of those mornings. One of those mornings. Yep. Yeah, you guys treat me like a murderer. Yeah. Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal See, Lecter. You're sure, you're you already gonna, started. Right, I'm just playing. I'm just you playing. already started. I'm just playing. <laughs> This is not this is all not right, your sorry. show. All right, sorry. This is not your show to be in. Yeah, you like that a little bit. Go ahead, step in. The grill out here. What are you doing? Uh, this is For sure. They're gonna take that mask off you. They're gonna Seriously? take that grill off. Don't break my arm. Just tell me what you want me to do, man. Open your mouth. Your grill. I'm cooperating yeah, with y'all. Why y'all bending me up, man? Right, stay, dude. Stay down. Stay there. I got y'all, man. Thank you. I, 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 I ain't been fighting y'all. They're going to come back and talk to you guys in a minute, OK? I just need to loosen my hand. It's going red. It's going down. Still a little verbally abusive. Hopefully, he cools down. Why are we cuffed if we locked in a cell? Sarge is banging his head really hard on the window. Why are you banging your head on the window? I've been in the cuffs for three hours. You haven't been here for three hours. Come here. Doing me like this. Yes. Trying to get out. No, stay seated. <sighs> Sir, we're afraid you're gonna hurt yourself. That's what we're doing right now. It's to protect you. Slide back. I can't barely breathe when you got me like Let's this. Let's not talk if you can't breathe. I don't understand why y'all doing me like this. I didn't even resist it, man. Okay, let's go over to the window. I didn't do nothing, homie. Why the f y'all doing me like this, homie? He was banging his head off the glass in one of the side cells. So for his safety, we're going to put him on suicide watch. We're going to get him out of the chair, get him out of that clothes. See if we can get an exit without anybody getting injured. Everything I love, I wasn't banging my head, bro. Are you guys serious? You know, every time we try to talk to you, you just override us. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Stand up. <laughs> Doing. How you doing? Ooh. It's been a while. Kind of calmed down since before. Yeah. You remember any of that? Yeah. You understand why you had to be dealt with that way? Coming in, making a disturbance like that. I wasn't gonna hurt myself though. I'm not that yeah. type of person. Have you had the opportunity to talk to a doctor while you've been up here? We've got some doctors on deck right now, and uh, they'll probably come in and talk to you. And if you get cleared, you'll be moved out of this module. No, I ain't gonna hurt myself, yeah. man. You seem much more calm. 
I just want to check up on you. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. You know, when you come into work, you have to change your whole mindset. It's something about maybe putting on the uniform that changes your mindset, but you have to be ready for anything when you come in here. When we're not at work, we, we don't have to deal with these same kind of people and the same kind of attitudes. And so you have to kind of change that whole mindset when you come into work, especially here in Las Vegas. Turn all the way down. Um, this guy just fell off of his chair, possible seizure, but he was hyperventilating earlier. He's mild seizures. He's responding to the ammonia. I'm okay. I know you're okay. Let me alone. Why'd you flop on the floor? Let me alone. Why do you keep doing this? I can't. I can't. Why do you keep breathe? Playing? Why do you keep playing like this? You're breathing fine. You're holding your breath. And Let me go. I'm a fire. I'm fine. Let me go. You said that last time, but now you just flopped yourself on the floor again. So what is really going on? I'm okay. I'm okay. Stay sitting in the... I'm okay. I'm okay. You're intoxicated, and you're looking for attention. What do you want? Nothing? Then breathe normal, Daniel. Stop acting. You've been arrested. You have to deal with it, Daniel. Daniel's been doing this off and on since he came in being arrested. He was arrested for a DUI charge, which he said that he wasn't driving his truck at the time that he was arrested um, from the witness statements of his DUI. And so now he's trying to act up. And uh, he's done this twice already, so... Hopefully he'll just sit calm now and breathe like a normal human being. Ah! Ah! All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just put it on the chair. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 i I just put it on too. I didn't, I didn't realize what it meant. You did? No. I told you in plain, clear in English. Up on your knees. There you go. Yeah, the inmate didn't want to follow directions. Started uh, going through the pad down procedure and actually kicked his sandals off at the officer. And downhill from there. All the way up the wall. I can't have him sit down there, will you? Sit down, John. Sit down. Bend your knee, pick your foot up. This guy actually earlier during day shift was a problem with the day shift uh, officers. They told us about him. He had uh, gone to the Rio Hotel, I think it was, it was, and went swimming without permission of the hotel. He was not a guest. So that's what he ended up getting arrested for as a trespass. And then uh, we're going to leave him in here for a cool down. Yep. The name for the sheet? Yeah, yeah the stickers are on that. Something. Okay. Uh, for real, how long? This is a band aid. Let me breathe! Let me breathe! This is the fourth time he's done this now. Leave me alone! Anything Let me happen? breathe! Class uh, two? No. Oh. DUI. Yeah. Let me alone! Let me get down in my seat! Alright, let's take him. There you go! Let Stand up! Go. Walk. I just wanted to breathe. I didn't even get out of my seat. Man. And now all of a sudden you're now all of a sudden you're breathing fine. Talking fine. So I was talking fine too. You guys yeah. leave me alone. Could fall on the no. floor. He's a DUI where uh, the officer actually got him after he's done driving, but all the witness statements got him as his little DUI. All right, come on in. 
He just let me be in my seat. I've been fine. What's going on, Daniel? Nothing. Nothing. I walked out of Albertsons. I got arrested for DUI walking out of Albertsons. Were you drinking earlier today? Was I? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yes. You, so you were intoxicated when they approached you? Yes. Okay. They arrested me for drunken driving, and I didn't have a car anywhere around. That's how stupid they are. Okay. So they started beating me. They go, where's your truck? Where's your truck? We saw you get dropped off, and they start smashing me with their nightsticks. Where's your truck? Where's your truck? I told them to quit hitting me. I got scars. And, and, and I see no bruising at all. Well, listen, you going to let me talk? I have 18 and a half years' experience of dealing with people like you. And I'm telling you right now, you are not beat with nightsticks. There's no marks on you, there's no welds, there's no red marks. In my book, you're lying. Your time's up. No more. Okay, you just sit there and be quiet. On your case, were you drinking when you came in here? What's no, the deal? No, I don't do drugs. I don't you don't do drugs? Okay, well, why are you acting that way when you came in? Um, I was just being quiet, that's all. Just you're kinda, just being quiet? Just kind of tired, yeah. I saw you kick your shoes at the officer. You're not ready to come out here yet either, are you? Okay. Okay? That's, that's it? I'd rather go, but I mean, it's up to you guys again, so. I understand. Yeah, it is a test. So, we'll leave him here also. Okay. He's Sounds guys. good. Anyway, sir. A couple of liars no, your together. Time, no. Your time's done. Your time's done. You give me the brain pain. I don't like getting the brain pain on my Friday. Yeah, you give me a headache, too. They're obviously both just lying and trying to concoct their own little stories to make themselves look good. city 24 hours of gambling 24 hours of playing 24 hours of drinking so people from all over the world end up here in this jail after they've been here for a while the alcohol wears off the drugs wear off reality sets in and they realize that they don't want to be here so you know we'll get them through the process we do what we can and get them out of here but it's just a revolving door it's the same thing every day same situation ma'am come here Face this wall. I got scaly the lice. Thank you for telling oh, you me. Might get the lice because it's in the jungle. I'm not gonna get the lice. Don't say that. That freaks me out. Why do I need to get the lice? It's a Why are you gonna fact. wish me on that? It's a medical fact. They jump. You got long hair to get it. And I have scabies. <laughs> Spread your feet. I, I have scabies. Well, be proud of that. What are you in for right now? Loitering for the purpose of prostitution? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> that is what you're here for, huh? And you got lice, scabies, and hepatitis. What? Excuse me. You see anything wrong with that? Could she go to the Not room? judging, but do you see anything wrong with that? I'm just letting you know so you can tell the medical no, 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 so that no. nobody gets affected. Or are you letting people know that when you uh, when you do them sexual favors for money? Okay, I'm just, I'm just letting you know so that you can tell medical so nobody else gets affected. I appreciate you that. Anybody else say to me? We okay. don't judge me. God does. Please, please. Okay, I said I don't judge you, but I need to know. No, you don't need to know. All right, if it's not your problem, I just said I worry about I'm it a little bit more. So you can tell medical so that... Duly can, noted. Okay, come on. Let's go to medical, because I don't know why you're trying to make we me really feel bad. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but I don't want to make you cry. You want to make me cry or whatever. I don't want to make you cry. You're tough. You're the one out there. You've got all, this, all these diseases, and you're flinging it out there. All right, the female that was just brought in, you guys picked her up? Yes, we did. Do you know what for? Prostitution related. There were some vice officers that did a uh, stop on her, and uh, she solicited sex to them, and uh, they called for a transport, so we came and transported. Apparently, she was just in here uh, last week for the same thing. Yeah, she was. All right, well, thanks for that. She's going to the restroom right now. She's going to take care of her uh, lice and her scabies. What were you picked up for? Uh, loitering and, well, soliciting. OK, and you just barely came into Vegas? Yeah, four hours ago. You didn't last very long. It's kind of funny. It's it, kind it, of funny. It is, because the last time I was out here was like three years ago, so. Oh, it's been three years? Uh, my warrant is two years old, so yeah. I okay. have not been out here in two years, and I have not been caught in two years. The warrant is for two years old. So do you think it's bad luck? <laughs> it's bad luck. I don't think I Vegas is... I my old babies at home with their dad. Oh, don't, let, don't tell twins. me that. Oh, but the dad's there, right? Yeah. Do you usually make more money when you come to Vegas? Is it like a holiday or something? What made you decide to come now? I just wanted to get gone, get away. For two weeks, even though you just had babies. 
You needed a break. I mean, yeah, you need break from twins. I pampered myself with oh. my nails and, you know. Oh, well, Vegas is the place to go for that. All right. Well, I got a shirt for you that you can put on. because I'm sure it's a little cold in here. And the guys, you know, start looking at you a little bit. They ain't got no money. Sorry. They, can't they got no money, right? Sorry. Yeah, we took their money anyway, so. All right, so you just got the one warrant, so I'll never see you again. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? I am okay with that. <laughs> okay. All right, you can go back to your seat. Uh, Alicia. Head. I know a lot of people come over from California to work just for a couple of weeks. It's just funny that she got caught within four hours of being here. That's her sign that she's not supposed to be over here in Vegas. And she'll go back and she does what she does over in California. All right, it's almost halfway through my shift and we're starting to get a little busy. And uh, it looks like Tammy's giving another officer a little bit of trouble. I need to go over and help. Yes, you do have room to sell here. Tammy, you don't get that. You're gonna go in a cell with other females. Yeah. I did this for you guys, so I want you to know that. You are, it's the dress. Right now we're gonna take you to a cell. Cause you're out there, you're screaming and you're yelling at everybody and you can't do that. You're being I'm disruptive. Tired. I know that, but you're being disruptive. Stay in the cell, don't move. Okay. Is the ring in a watch? Yes. Is it on your side? Yeah. No, nothing on my side. Nothing. You can have them off because everybody else has them off. Okay, put your knees up on the bench. It's college to Oh. These cops are going to come off when they do. You're placing your hands high on the wall. Do you understand that? Yes, you know what I All right, don't move until the door shuts. Basically, she's been disruptive since she first came in, and she's also having other females don't want to be around her because supposedly she has lice, she's picking at her skin, and she's yelling at other people. So we took her back to the side cell, and everybody was very grateful for that. And I think that's kind of what she wanted, too. So she's back in her side cell. She'll sleep it off. See her tomorrow. She'll be a lot more calmer, and she'll get kicked out, and she'll come back again. working for Metropolitan Police Department for about seven years now. And Las Vegas is pretty interesting for a police department. Things are open 24 hours a day here, and alcohol is 24 hours a day, which means people get access to alcohol nonstop pretty much if they want it. And you add that in with our 100 degree heat and all kinds of things start happening in Vegas. Have you ever been here before? No. Who are you not getting along with tonight? My husband. Oh, is he going to come in too, or just you? No, just me. I'm the one that threatened him. Yeah, yeah. Extramarital oh, affairs. Yeah. For 24 years, and then he it's, lost his sex. It's been going and on. I've been paying him since then, so. It's his love. It's his it's his love. love. All right. He still loves her. 49 and a half years. 49. All right, come on. Over here. Have a seat. The very last chair, okay? She's been married to this guy some 50 some years. Uh -huh. And last year she just he admitted to her that she'd been he had an affair some 24 years ago. And so every now and then when he wants to get her going, he starts telling about this other girl, this old lady. You're here tonight because you were fighting with your husband. Right. And he keeps bringing up that he used to have an affair with somebody. So you guys had an argument. Till he, had, he had no sex, which was in 1984. Yes. He had sex with her from 1960 to 1984. And now he's telling me about it in 2008. Well, that's got to upset you. Oh, I hope to tell you. Oh, it's got to be kind of tough to hear that. in your mind. Yeah. This is 2009 right now, though. I know. Yeah, but been, so it started last uh, year? Yeah, and I've been fighting ever since. What are all these? They're all from me. From fighting? Yeah. Really? I had a choice, either shoot him or call the police. Shoot. So I called the police. You yeah, have we, have, we have guns. Oh, okay. You do seem like you can take care of yourself. Oh, like I, I do. I do, honey. I, I use things, so I don't do it with my hands. Did you hit him with something tonight? Oh, I hit him with all kinds of things. What did you hit him with? Uh, 
baby oil bottle. <laughs> a baby oil bottle? Did you throw it or did you? I threw it. You threw it? Well, now you fight every single day. Did you know you this better, person? I did not know. You didn't know her? I didn't. Oh, no, it's not a person. It's a. Mm, paid for. <laughs> oh, lady of He's, the evening. Yes, I several see. of them, I understand. I so he had a little extra habit. He's the one that keeps bringing it up. He keeps teasing me, sir. Teasing sorry, you. That's no. not very nice. No, it's That's not, not very nice. nice. Um, what are you here for tonight? Uh, loitering for the purpose. Loitering for the purpose? Is this your first time here? No. no. If I had to count, I'd say probably about a dozen times now. Not the first time. Won't be the last either, so. Do you have any warrants or is this no. a... No? Uh-uh. Oh. Yeah. Make a lot of money? Um, as it stands right now, no. No? I am actually planning on opening my own escort business. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do it. <laughs> never in my life. She, she had a bad night. No kidding. <laughs> this is her first time to jail, so you girls that are experienced yeah. with our system can kind of help her out and let her know what this to expect. This is the expect. worst part, the waiting. Oh, thank God. I'm tired. Why don't we go take your picture? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye sweetie pie. Bye. Bye. You have a good one. You, you All right. Girl. Come with me, okay? Here's your charge seat. It's got loitering for the purpose of prostitution. Yeah. And you know to go to court, right? Yeah, we go to court. Do you have a lawyer or do you represent yourself? I represent myself. Do you? Okay. All right then. Been there enough. Okay. So you remember the rules in here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Raise your hand if you need anything, and when they call your name, walk around to where you're needed for processing, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. There's your friend. Why don't you sit next to her? It's been a pretty hectic evening, so I'm glad that they've got each other to talk to. This is your first time seeing Dale. Oh yeah. Okay. There's a blanket. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna work on that. But for okay. right now, I have to okay. put you in here, and I'll be back, and we're gonna That's probably get need. you somewhere more comfortable. Okay. Go ahead and sit right down. Yeah. So, how are you feeling about it all? I Honestly, don't how are you like feeling it. about everything? <laughs> you don't like it? No. Um, it'd be two days out of your life, a little uncomfortable, not very pleasant. But I think you're gonna get through it because you're pretty strong. Oh, I'm very You're strong. very strong. And I just can see that you don't belong here. Yeah. You don't belong here. You're in a situation and you I've need never, to get some. I've never done anything bad. Oh, I, I can tell. I understand. <laughs> okay, well, I hate to say enjoy your stay, but make the best of it, okay? You seem like you're you're doing pretty good. I'm doing real good. Okay. Be careful now. This is a bear cat. Okay. Could be better, right? Um, my ribs hurt. Um, okay, so I'll try to be careful with that. Can you spread your feet for me, though, please? Sure. But um, my ribs hurt. So you got into a fight, and it was a domestic violence situation, right? My girlfriend called them. I was in my apartment by myself. Just out of curiosity, but what made you put the tats on your face? I was young and dumb. Oh, so you've had them for a while. Do you regret doing the ones on your face? Absolutely. Have you been here before, ma'am? I've been on parole, on probation, on everything. And then you got in a fight with the girl. Yeah, she just... Put me in here. Um, it's the last last case she caught was on me. So when you get out of here, are you gonna go back to her? She just needs to go. Yeah, it's too much trouble, too much drama. I can right? take care of myself. I can do bad on myself. Well, you were taking care of yourself before her, right? Right, but I know you know what love love is something else. You you're right. Me? We're gonna go take you to medical, okay? Okay. So obviously you're here for domestic violence, right? Your okay. charge, okay? So minimum of 12 hours. That's just a cooling down period, all right? <laughs> After that, we'll maximum. Get you 48 hours, maybe? It just depends. Don't worry about it. Have a seat. Let's get it through, okay? I try to got a lot of defects. I got a lot of defects. Who doesn't? This is all defects. I mean, if I didn't have this, I'd be corporate. I'd be in the corporate office. Yeah. It's true, too. It's the way people judge us. Like, kind of makes people look at me a little awkward, you know? And um, they can look at me all they want. If they just take five minutes to talk to me. Hey, I've know. talked to you for five minutes, and I'm very impressed. No. 
I'm noticing by looking at her tat, she's got a lot of tattoos with females' names on it. Demisha, Melody. What are all these tattoos about? Some of them are girlfriends, some of them are just like best friends. People have touched me. I just kind of like get involved with the wrong type of women. And this is what I get. <laughs> but you know, lesson learned, right? I don't know. From this one, I mean. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Love is love. Yeah. Love is love. All right, good luck to you. When she first came in, even I, I judged her just because of her tats that she has on her face. She's trying to get away from the lifestyle she had before, but it's hard for her to do when you have the tats that she has. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone.